years ago, Hyundai announced the Ioniq 5N, an impressive performance electric vehicle, which actually got petrol heads impressed. And for the next two years, it's all anyone could talk about. There was article after article and video after video about finally how a manufacturer had built a truly engaging performance electric vehicle, even if the controversial gear shifts left people a little bit divided. But as the dust settled on the Ionic 5N, we knew that something was coming. What was next? Well, this is next. This is the next car to wear the N badge. This is the Ionic 6N. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you everything that I know about it so far. Hi guys, my name's Tish and welcome back to my channel, Auto Social UK. In today's video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the latest Ionic 6N. So if that sounds good, then please keep watching. And if you like new car reviews and car content, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. So first of all, I think we need to reel off. What are all the key facts and figures about the Ionic 6N? The Ioniq 6N builds on the success of Hyundai's first high-performance EV, the Ioniq 5N, but turns everything up just a notch. Under the skin is a dual-motor all-wheel drive setup that produces 650 PS or 478 kilowatts in N-Grin boost mode, a 40 PS increase over the Ioniq 5. Torque is rated at 770 newton meters, matching the 5N, but with revised delivery for improved track stamina and responsiveness. The result? a blistering 0-100 km time of just 3.2 seconds, identical to the 5N but in a more aerodynamically efficient and lower slung body. The top speed remains an impressive 257 km per hour and comes with the same 84 kilowatt hour battery, but it's been further refined again here. With 800 volt charging architecture, the Ionic 6N can rapid charge from 10 to 80% in just 18 minutes under optimal conditions. As for range, it's expected to offer 469 km of WLTP range, and that gives it a slight edge over the 5N's estimated 448, thanks to better aerodynamics and thermal management. Next up, let's talk about styling. And we can't touch on styling without talking about this colour. This is performance blue but not as we know it. Performance Blue previously was a standard flat colour. This, however, has a wonderful pearl effect to it. It really looks beautiful, especially when it hits the light. It also now features a new front face, not only the more aggressive front and rear bumpers, but it now has these slimmer headlamps that we would have seen for the redesign of the Ionic 6, which is coming later on this year. But talking all about the N, of course, you've got those much more aggressive aggressive front splitter. You've got this really aggressive air intake and then you've got the orangey red lipstick which runs all the way along the bottom. Underpinning the 6N is a thoroughly reworked chassis designed to offer precise handling without compromising comfort. Suspension durometry has been completely redesigned with a lower roll centre to reduce body movement and enhance high speed stability. New stroke sensing electronic dampeners continue to adapt to road track surface, balancing ride comfort with sharp controlled body movements. Whether you're cruising through town or pushing hard through a corner, the setup remains composed and confidence inspiring. This really means business and I love how Hyundai don't hold back when it comes to their performance designs. When it comes to alloy wheels, you get slightly smaller wheels on the 6 compared to the 5N. These are 20 inch alloys compared to the 21s that you get on the Ionic 5N. These are slightly less aggressive as well, but of course you still have those wonderful N red brake calipers. Braking has also been upgraded to match the performance. Up front there's 40mm ventilated discs with four piston calipers with 360mm rears, providing strong and consistent stopping power. Regenerative braking adds another layer of control, offering up to 0.6 Gs of deceleration, reducing wear on the physical brakes and improving efficiency. Combined, these systems ensure the Ionic 6N handles and stops like a true performance car, responsive, balanced and ready for both road and circuit duty. But I can imagine with slightly smaller wheels and a slightly more aerodynamic shape that this is going to be a bit softer than the 5N. Moving around to the rear of the car and of course there is one thing 
we cannot avoid, and that is this whacking great wing. This is exactly what I was talking about with Hyundai. They're not afraid to have a bit of fun. This is the sort of thing that car enthusiasts' dreams are made of. It looks like it's aftermarket, but this is standard on this car, and I just absolutely love that. Is it perhaps a little bit over the top? Yes, of course, but do I care? Absolutely not, I love it. To give it its technical term, that motorsport inspired swan neck rear wing is more than just a visual highlight. It's a functional piece of aerodynamic hardware that contributes to enhanced high speed stability. Mounted higher and cleaner than traditional spoilers, it generates consistent downforce without disrupting airflow, keeping the rear end planted during fast cornering and reducing lift at speed. This is paired with widened fenders and carefully integrated air channels that direct airflow efficiently across the body, aiding both drag reduction and cooling performance. You've also got that wonderful ducktail spoiler which you have on the standard car, which just sits below this as well. Here you have another redesign for the facelifted vehicle. So on the standard N-line car, this is the new rear that you get. So I don't know if you remember, the previous generation car, you had this light bar which ran all the way along the rear, but now you have this much sleeker design which will feature on both this N but also the N-line. You've just got those subtle lights which just cover this gloss black. I really think that this looks much more attractive and once again it takes a slightly dated look and just elevates it into a new generation. I really like it. Of course once again you've got that more aggressive rear diffuser as well. It just looks fab but actually when it comes to this car compared to the 5N there's something interesting hiding in the boot. Towards the back, you'll find a pair of exposed support bars, a clear nod to the car's performance focus. These help reinforce the chassis rigidity, help reduce the flex during hard cornering and improve rear stability. It's a small detail with big impact, especially on track. There was a vast amount of changes on the interior of the Ionic 5N and whilst there is of course some huge changes which we'll talk about when it comes to the 6, they're a little bit more subtle. One of the big reasons for that is the Ionic 5N needed a redesign. The standard car had no centre console so that meant when you're swinging it around corners it stopped you from sliding around by fitting a centre console when it comes to the N but the 6 always had a centre console so there was no need to adjust too many things. So you'll find a similar setup to the new facelifted Ionic 6 and that means it's slightly been redesigned, the buttons have been jigged around but overall the layout is very very similar. So let's move on to talking about things that have changed. For one, the seats. I absolutely love these bucketed sports seats and you have the light up N, they just look fantastic and these really do feel like proper performance seats. They're really quite hard and stiff. They're not going to be the most comfortable for long journeys but that's not what they've been designed for. And then you have the steering wheel. You have this new steering wheel inside of the 6N which is adorned with a ton of new buttons. Of course you've got two fantastic N buttons which are going to put you straight into those N driving modes and then also the NGB button. This is found in many of the Hyundai performance cars and what this will do is give you an extra boost of both torque and performance giving you this car's full potential all of the time. This latest generation car has also added something a little bit different over the Arnic 5N and it's a clever feature with the lights. You see you've got ambient lighting, you've got a strip which goes along the centre and all across the doors but what they've done with this car is they've actually adapted them to change with the different throttle inputs. So for instance, if I turn it off, it'll give you a little bit of an experience of what it does. So as you turn it off, you get this bar which just fades away. Now you see what that will do is when you're driving it hard, as you hit that throttle and as it bounces off of the rev limiter, it'll be all flashing with lights, which is going to make it even more engaging.
What really sets the Arnix 6N apart is its suite of intelligent performance technologies designed to give the driver an incredible level of control. At the core is the N Vehicle Control System, offering features like N Torque Distribution with 11 steps of front to rear power balance and N Pedal, which adjusts liftoff behaviour for sharper turning. For the more adventurous, there's the N Drift Optimizer, letting you fine tune drift angle, traction, and stability to match your driving style. N Launch Control takes care of the standing starts with race grade traction, while N E Shift adds simulated gear changes, giving drivers the familiar rhythm of a combustion engine car, but in electric form. This immersive experience is highlighted by the N Active Sound Plus, which offers three different sound modes ignition, evolution, and and futuristic light speed. Each adds drama to the drive, with the N Ambient Shift light system providing visual cues to match. And for those serious about lap times, the N Track Manager. This onboard telemetry tool lets drivers create custom circuits, compare data, and even race against a digital ghost car, ideal for analyzing braking points, corner speeds, and lap performance. Together, these systems transform the Ionic 6N into more than just a fast EV. It's a highly tunable, deeply engaging machine, which is built for driving enthusiasts, whether on road or chasing apexes on the track. Never before has there been a car which I've been more excited to jump behind the steering wheel than this, the Ionic 6N. All of those changes that they've made over the five, I'm really interested to see how that changes the driving dynamics of this car. I was impressed with the five, and will it be the same with the six? Well, we'll have to wait and see when I get a chance to drive it. But let me know, what do you think about the Ionic 6N? And what do you prefer, this or the five? Let me know in the comments down below. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanna see more, then you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Until next time, guys, see you later.